countries most likely to survive a climate change? As climate change has come into people's minds, they've Googled a common question. What countries would be okay when climate change rolls around and things start to collapse? A common misconception is that geography plays a major role, but there are a lot of factors that determine whether or not a country would survive climate change. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Ireland is actually in the top five countries to manage just fine in the event of a collapse. The island is somewhat self-sufficient with plenty of untapped resources. It's a hidden gem. It also helps that Ireland is a huge exporter than an importer, meaning they don't need a lot of imports. So Ireland could easily survive if it were cut off from other countries, but what other countries could top this? The United States of America just barely makes it into the top 10 on this list. The U.S. is a big place and has plenty of geographical diversity. This means that agriculture shouldn't be an issue. There are also many places that people can move to if they need to migrate. It sits far too low on clean energy independence. The issue that the U.S. presents is that it isn't very independent when it comes to clean energy. The population also means that it needs a lot of resources to keep everyone healthy, feed, and happy. Not alone the country board presenting its own issue. Just scraping above the United States is Canada. Canada has many natural resources that people don't realize, but people could panic migrate to Canada which would be too much for the country. What makes the prospect of a panic migration even worse is the fact that Canada's borders are relatively unprotected. Even though the country's big, a lot of it isn't habitable by humans. The system would also need to become more energy independent if they wanted a better chance. Tasmania sneaks up at number two on this list. The country has a surprising self-sustaining infrastructure, which means they have a very good chance of surviving climate change but they do have their downsides. The country's tiny and doesn't have and can't provide for a large population. They wouldn't be able to accept any refugees and would have to refuse anyone coming into the border. Unless certain people with professions were high in demand, the next country's number one. If climate change takes on a worst-case scenario, New Zealand is actually the best place in the world to live. Any survivalist will know it already has everything that's needed. Remote, untouched lands, untapped resources, best position for climate alteration, current infrastructure independence, etc. But that's not all. Millionaires and billionaires have already been scoping out places for their Plan B accommodations in the wilds where hobbits have roamed. Even celebrity director James Cameron has set up a life and base there. No one can blame him, it's a beautiful place to live. There are, however, two more contenders that are worth mentioning. Iceland takes fourth place. It's big on renewable energy, current systems, as well as future research. It's also a remote island. Obviously, there's a pattern here. However, despite it checking many boxes, there is one main problem. The melting glaciers have already affected the ocean leaves around the country. So the safe haven is getting smaller by the year. It's not likely to be engulfed. Just don't buy any property near the coast. Stick to the higher elevations. Honorable mention must also go to the UK. It's an island, it has resources, would be climate diverse enough, gets plenty of rainfall, etc., but its population compared to the resources is not ideal. It would need to make some serious changes to bump itself up on the list. Even though talk of climate change and societal collapse are hot topics in the last few years, that doesn't mean people should sell their houses and relocate tomorrow. It's still the best idea to see how everyone can help their current area and the world be better in general. Please share this with your friends and family.